Hi, and welcome to the Chat Zone. I'm your host, Donna Ritchie. What do you say the Chat Zone is? The Chat Zone is a place where participants can engage, can educate, and enlighten each other in conversation, in real discussion. And I'm so glad you joined us today. My guest today is a phenomenal person. She's She's done some phenomenal things, and I can't wait to share uh, what she has done. I can't wait for her to share what she's done in her story. Her name is Elizabeth Morrell. Yes. Yes. You got it. Welcome to the chat zone. Thank you, girl. girl. You have done so many great things. I am so proud of you on so many levels. Oh, thank okay? you so much. Tell us a little bit about Elizabeth and what what, Elizabeth, what is Elizabeth about? Well, Elizabeth. I was born, no, I'm just <laughs> I was born, yeah. no, I am from California, I just relocated here to the Charlotte area, so mm -hmm. I'm very excited. I'm a certified personal trainer mm -hmm. as well as a nutritionist, um, I do radio and TV and all that, but my main passion in life mm -hmm. is making everybody fit and, ha and healthy, you know? Okay, how did you get into fitness? Because you're into fitness, right. you're into uh, being healthy. Absolutely. How did you do that? I mean, what? where did it start from? Well, that's a very good question because I have lost over 115 pounds. Really? Oh I my know, gosh. I know. And it's been, I've, I've maintained this weight for over seven years, eight mm -hmm. years. And it was one of the biggest decisions that I made in my life. Now, and you have to get to a point in life where, um, you have to get to the point where I'm, I'm deciding to do this. How did you come to that point? Because, you know, there there's a lot of diets out there. There's a lot of myths about weight loss and everything. And, and so many people want to lose weight and to be healthy. But sometimes just making that first step is such a struggle. Yes. Absolutely. How did you get to the point where you made the first step? I wish it was all me, mm -hmm. but it was a health issue. And this is why I'm so advocate about it now. I want you to do it before a doctor tells you okay. it's life or death, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So in my case, it was I had my gallbladder removed. And um, I know a lot of people have gotten their gallbladder removed, and the doctor was saying, it's no big deal. You can function without it. But to me, it was a big deal because mm -hmm. God gave me all my parts, right? right? Mm -hmm. I don't think he threw anything for spare. Mm -hmm. So obviously, I needed it for something. So I took it upon myself and researched it and saw, you know, what does a gallbladder do? I know I can live without it, but what is it, the function? Right. And I found out it's the trash can, basically, oh. of our body. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I ate so much fried food mm. that my trash can was overflowing. Wow. So I had decided at that moment that I am going to lose 100 pounds. Mm. And I actually did. Now we have pictures of you where when you first started out, right. you were 100 pounds more than what you are now, or 115 pounds more. More than that, yeah. Yeah, I weighed, yeah. Yeah, I weighed like two, when I weighed myself in that hospital room, I was 247. Wow. And you see, I'm not that tall. No. If I was six feet, you know, uh -huh. that would have been all right. But at five, three. You're taller than I am. Yeah. <laughs> Forty-seven, not cute. Wow. That's you know, not cute. And it was so funny because when I stepped on that scale, everybody in the doctor's office was like, "Cause I already had to lose weight for the surgery, mm -hmm. you know." Mm -hmm. And they all looked at me and was like, "And I said, I'm gonna lose a hundred pounds, mm -hmm. like a joke, so it can kind of." Did you believe that yourself? Obviously, I did. Okay. Obviously, mm -hmm. I did because that was the day I made a change. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and if you know, if anybody who had a gallbladder removed know that your diet has changed mm -hmm. afterwards. So I took that as the first step in the rest of my life, and I never looked back. How was your diet when you first started? Well, it was very extreme because mm -hmm. of the surgery. So I had to eat like cottage cheese mm -hmm. and and you know just very bland things. Mm -hmm. But in that time, in me healing and learning. I decided to go to nutrition classes. Mm -hmm. I uh, I did a lot of training. I also did a lot of therapy. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times people think that our weight is just food, and it really isn't. It's emotions. Mm -hmm. It's emotions. You know, nobody is, you know, so hungry they eat a whole pizza. Okay. You know, yeah. we're eating something else. Yeah, yeah. I know I was eating. How do else. you get past that? Because that's a that's a huge milestone just to get past the emotional eating. That's that is it. Because that's a lot. 
that's a lot of you know people. Everybody. That, yeah, it's a it's problem everybody. for a we lot of us. Huh? We all deny it. Everybody that's overweight or obese, we have something else that we're trying to cover up. Mm -hmm. We all can say I'm fine because I was fabulous mm -hmm. at a size 24, <laughs> and I was always smiling and laughing, mm -hmm. and, and I was juvenile. But what happened was when I went to I went to therapy, mm -hmm. and I always suggest when you want to make a change in your life, especially what way, you have to find out what the issue is, okay. right? Yes. Because mm -hmm. you don't know where to start, mm -hmm. you know, and everything to me was status quo. Okay. I don't, I don't know. So I went to therapy and I went to, it was six months or so of therapy, of nutrition claim, just to change my life. Mm -hmm. And I found so, and I thought I was real cool. Mm -hmm. I thought that, you know, this been all right. Mm -hmm. mm, this mm -hmm. was not all right. Right. So, so did you did, did did it hit you one day? You looked in the mirror and said, "You know what? I've got to make a change." No, it was and you know it's it's very true. Mm -hmm. But it changed for me when I went from the inside out. Okay. So the That's mirror good. was never my thing anymore. Again, because I said I thought I was fabulous mm -hmm. at any size. Mm -hmm. So when I determined to get healthy on the inside, mm -hmm. then it reflected on the outside. So a nice fit body. It's just a side effect of how you treat the inside. Mm -hmm. It's a good side effect, yes. but it's a side effect. So Absolutely. when we stop looking at ourselves as being, the, you know, the vanity get out of it and look mm -hmm. at it as a health decision, mm -hmm. I never went back. Okay. Never okay. went back. So the first thing you did was is is you changed from the inside. inside. Absolutely. Okay. And it was it was not so much about losing weight as it was about just being healthy, living yeah. a, a healthy lifestyle. That's exactly it. Okay. That was the number one thing. I think that's more of a uh, not only emotional but a mental thing as it was, well. Absolutely. Because when you, I always say when you decide to do something like. Anytime that I've done a huge weight loss, mm -hmm. and I have done, I've found it too, but dumb. I, anytime right. I've done a huge weight loss, right. most people ask, well, what did you do? And the only thing I can say, I just made up my mind. That And that's it. Mm -hmm. When you decide to do something, and that's why I say, when I joked about that 100 pounds, obviously my mind wasn't playing. Yes. Because I made up my mind mm -hmm. to do it. And the thing about weight loss, as you know, no one can do it for you. Okay. Well, you know what? We're going to have more with Elizabeth when we come back. Don't go away because you want to find out how she did it. And you want to see the steps and just understand. So maybe you, if you decide to lose weight, then this is how you can do it. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Thank you for watching the chat zone. We'll be right back. The Affordable Care Act has had over 7 million people sign up for it this year alone. One of the biggest things is that people are saving money for themselves, for their families, and for their future. By doing this, you want to make sure that you understand how the plan works for you. So definitely feel free to give Mondes Thomas a call with AmeriLife and Health Services and we'll go over all of your various options with you. My phone number is 704-728-5075. If you have any questions, no matter how big or small, I'd be glad to answer them for you. If you're in the market for an electrical service, then look no further. Almighty Electrical Installations will get the job done. They are licensed, bonded, and insured. With over 18 years of experience, they know how to get the job done fast, affordable, effective, and professionally. They do new construction electrical, electrical rewiring, panel change out, bathroom lighting, kitchen lighting, custom home and industrial lighting, upgrades, entertainment center, and much, much more. Almighty Electrical Installations. Turn us on. 704-712-6536. That's 704-712-6536. Are you tired of being sick? Try our amazing alkaline water. Come visit us at the Water Depot, 3312 Highway 21, Unit 102, Fort Mill, South Carolina, 29715. Or visit us online at DonnaRitchie.com or UnforgettableWater.com. Change your water, change your health. Thank you for tuning in to The Chat Zone. Welcome back. I am so delighted to have my special guest, Elizabeth Morrell. Yeah, yeah. And I'm telling you, girl, your story, again, just blows me away. Oh, of, and I just congratulate you and commend you for what you have done. Your confidence is, is strictly out of the roof. And I'm sure it wasn't always like that. 
in, or in the beginning, because a lot of times when you're when you when there are health issues, right. sometimes um, the confidence level kind of suffers just a little right. bit. But how did your how did it all change for you? Well, unfortunately, I wish I could say I was the one that was like not so confident, but I've always been yeah. boom. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I was always like what? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Even yeah. at a 24, mm-hmm. on the outside. Yeah. On the inside, behind there, that, and that's the truth. Mm-hmm. Now, at home, mm-hmm. I may cry, 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 mm-hmm. but when I was out, I was like, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And I think the biggest change for me is because I've always been sassy, my personality has always been the same, mm-hmm. I have not ever changed that. Mm-hmm. But the biggest change I think that came from this is that now I'm ready. Mm-hmm. You're I'm ready from the inside out. Correct. So, mm-hmm. like, for instance, if you would have called me back in the day mm-hmm. when 24, mm-hmm. right, and said, Elizabeth, we're going to go to the beach today because we was always, you want to you go to the beach? We're going to ride to the beach. I'm oh, I can't make it. Mm-hmm. You know, give me a couple, you know, give mm-hmm. me time or maybe next week or whatever. So I could never do anything on the same day mm-hmm. because mentally I would say, oh, I need time to diet. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm going to be different in two weeks. <laughs> but, you know, to me, yeah. it was like, oh, I can't do it. You know, I couldn't do anything on the day of mm-hmm. because, uh, I, you know, in my mind, I got to diet. I got to prepare. I, mm-hmm. I'm not ready. Well, how effective or ineffective is dieting in your world? It's ineffective. Mm-hmm. I have lost so much weight mm-hmm. and gained so much weight. Over my, I've, I've yo-yoed. Mm-hmm. I have lost a lot 40 pounds, 60 pounds, and then gain mm-hmm. 80 pounds. Right, right. You, so mm-hmm. I will never diet again. Mm-hmm. It's my lifestyle. So mm-hmm. that's the thing. It was all a mental thing, how you said mm-hmm. before. Mm-hmm. It's a big mental thing. Well, tell me some of the things that you did nutritionally. Nutritionally, the things that I did was now that I eat more often because mm-hmm. one of my big no-nos mm-hmm. is that I would wake up in the morning where people say I don't eat breakfast, mm-hmm. right? So I didn't eat breakfast and I was a real estate agent, well, real estate broker actually and I specialized in mortgages so I would get up in the morning and just went brought the kids to school worked all day did I say anything about eating no you didn't say no I didn't say anything about eating I didn't eat I didn't eat at all by the time I picked my kids up from school which was like 2 30 I'm starving right so then of course we go to fried chicken whatever and I eat from that point on kid you not Mm -hmm. eat and then eat at midnight. That's all I'm hungry mm-hmm. when I wake up because mm-hmm. I would eat all that, but I would starve all day. Mm-hmm. During the day, I would not eat. I didn't eat breakfast. I didn't eat anything. So the thing that I did differently, and there's so people are so scared mm-hmm. of eating yeah. that they starve themselves and they're doing themselves a disservice. And also, when you starve yourself, once you do eat, your body is 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 getting is it's like SpongeBob. It's, it's just, holding yeah, on. Yeah, it's holding on to it. Yeah. And then we live in a in a day and age where stress is at an all time mm-hmm. high. So stress can cause uh, weight gain as right. well as well. So Absolutely. how do you rid yourself of all of that and just start fresh? Because you obviously did it and well, were successful. Well, it. thank you. I think that it's easy when you wake up in the morning. The first thing to do is drink a glass of water, right? I always have a water bottle by your bed. Get up. Eight ounces, six ounces. Eight ounces ounces is good. Eight ounces of water in the Mm -hmm. morning. Just, you know, it doesn't have to be cold. You don't have to go out through all that stuff. Just have water by your bed. Drink your eight ounces. Then eat within an hour of when you wake up. Okay. 45 minutes is perfect if you can eat within 45 minutes. But I'll give you an hour. Mm -hmm. You know, eat because now your body is up and mm-hmm. is running, right? Okay. You need to fuel your machine, mm-hmm. and your body is a machine. Okay. And you know, so mm-hmm. you got to get up, drink that glass of water, then you want to eat within an hour. 45 minutes is key, mm-hmm. but within an hour, right. and then you're going to eat every three hours from then on. Now, is there certain things you need to eat when you first start out, or, or what? I mean, well, every time you eat, you want to eat a combo mm-hmm. pack I call it a mm-hmm. combo meal deal which is uh, carbs mm-hmm. and protein okay. every time specifically on carbs. so what I mean no specifically both 
Okay. So that's the key. Okay. Most people because there are good carbs and there are bad carbs. Absolutely, mm -hmm. we need our carbs. Our carbs. I, I get so scared when people say I'm on a no carb diet. I kind of oh, like okay. cringe. I get. It, I, it, it's almost like you get angry when you don't have carbs. Right. Because you lose. You don't have the energy. Your mind. Oh my God. Your mind. Those carbs in your body it goes to your mind. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised people are still like not driving off of bridges. Running up because it you need that for your mental function, you mm -hmm. need your carbs. So, you want to choose good carbs, yeah. like your vegetables are mm -hmm. good carbs, your fruit are good carbs, mm -hmm. but that's what you want to feed your body okay. because we need it. Mm -hmm. And you, of course, you have it with your protein. Mm -hmm. So, have yogurt and a banana. Okay, there you go, a perfect little snack. So, it's and, then, and then, how, how often do you eat in a day? I eat about five to six times a day. So mm -hmm. eat your breakfast, mm -hmm. have a snack. Mm -hmm. Eat your lunch, have a snack. And then I have your dinner, or you can have a snack and dinner, just every three hours. Okay. You're eating something, and I don't ever want to hear again. Mm -hmm. Ever, ever, <laughs> ever hear again. Mm -hmm. I'm not eating past, then they fill in the time, six mm -hmm. o'clock, mm -hmm. seven o'clock, which I don't understand that, are you sleep? Because that's the only time your body doesn't need okay. to be fed. So there is no cutoff time. There is in no the cutoff time in the evening, please. That's I love big, this <laughs> big mistake. And that what happens is again you're starving your body. Okay. If you stop at six o'clock, do you go to bed by eight? No. Okay, so now you once you hit that three hours to four hours, your body's getting confused and saying I'm starving. So a light snack maybe? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. A light snack. Popcorn. Mm -hmm. um, what about fitness? What about fitness? Girl, what's my love? Because I mean, you're eating constantly smaller portions, right? And then, and, and how often should you uh, exercise? So you should do cardio at least sixty. 60 minutes, three times a week. Okay. okay, so think of your nutrition and your workout, your exercise, mm -hmm. as your oil and gas, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So a car cannot run on just gas and no oil, right? right? And right. it can't run on just oil. So you need both. Mm -hmm. So you need to have your good nutrition and you have to get your cardio. You gotta get your exercise in as well as eating. It's a combo pack, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Okay. I am so enjoying this. This okay. is just, it's just everyday information that you can do in in the comforts of your home. You don't have to go to the gym. You right. can actually do it outside of the gym. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know what? I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. We're going to have more of the chat zone. I'm your host, Donna Lynch. We're going to have more right after this. So don't go. Thank you for watching the chat zone. We'll be right back. The Affordable Care Act has had over 7 million people sign up for it this year alone. One of the biggest things is that people are saving money for themselves, for their families, and for their future. By doing this, you want to make sure that you understand how the plan works for you. So definitely feel free to give Mondes Thomas a call with AmeriLife and Health Services and we'll go over all of your various options with you. My phone number is 704-728-5075. If you have any questions, no matter how big or small, I'd be glad to answer them for you. If you're in the market for an electrical service, then look no further. Almighty Electrical Installations will get the job done. They are licensed, bonded, and insured. With over 18 years of experience, they know how to get the job done fast, affordable, effective, and professionally. They do new construction electrical, electrical rewiring, panel change out, bathroom lighting, kitchen lighting, custom home and industrial lighting, upgrades, entertainment center, and much, much more. Almighty Electrical Installations. Turn us on. 704-712-6536. That's 704-712-6536. Are you tired of being sick? Try our amazing alkaline water. Come visit us at the Water Depot, 3312 Highway 21, Unit 102, Fort Mill, South Carolina, 29715. Or visit us online at DonnaRitchie.com or UnforgettableWater.com. Change your water, change your health. Thank you for tuning in to the chat zone. I am so enjoying this segment of the chat zone. I'm your host, Donna Ritchie, and I am talking with a good friend 
a nutritionist and a fitness guru, I can say, because she is so qualified to fit this category. She has been there, done that, and have a t-shirt. And that's Elizabeth Mora. Mora? You got it. Yes, <laughs> yes I told you I was going to get that name, too. <laughs> but now, we, we were talking about fitness and and how natural, I like the fact that how natural you implemented that in your life. Yes. Okay, and, and that is attainable. So is, is it a one-size-fit-all? Because we, we covered um, eating several small meals a day, about how many, about six? Five to six. Five yes. to six mm -hmm. small meals a day. Uh -huh. um, and then and, and incorporating exercise. exercise um, how, how, how easy is that? You know, when you're talking about someone that may be watching and they are uh, morbidly obese, All right. where do you start? And is it a one size fit all? That's a great question. Mm -hmm. You know what? Nothing is one size fit all because we are all individual and we all do our own thing. Mm -hmm. um, but there's a basic that mm -hmm. we all live in this world mm -hmm. and it has to make sense. Okay. Right? It has to make sense. You know, so I have no diets, no tricks. That's mm -hmm. going to be take this magic pill. Yeah. I, I lost 80 pounds in two <laughs> weeks. It's like, for real? Yeah. You're going to yeah. gain 200 pounds. And right. two, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So it's not a, a magic pill. You mm -hmm. have to put in your diet, your mm -hmm. diet. When I say that, that's just what you eat, mm -hmm. right? As well as your fitness. Mm -hmm. So it's not a it's not a hard thing to do. Mm -hmm. So what I would tell that morbidly obese person, the first thing to do is to just move. Mm -hmm. Start moving. Mm -hmm. You know a walk. A walk. a walk around the block, a walk up the street. Right. Okay. That would be great. Now, let me give you the key to a walk because mm -hmm. everybody tell me, I walk. Mm -hmm. And my kids, would, if they were here, they would say, monkeys walk. Because that's right. <laughs> everybody walk. Uh -huh. But it's a key to making it count as your exercise. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you're walking mm -hmm. and you can hold a conversation, that's not your exercise. Okay. Okay. That's the activity. I like that. You do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But if you want to use it as your exercise, you shouldn't be able to hold a conversation like this. Okay. So you should be going like, hey, yeah, mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. eh, mm -hmm. oh, got it? Mm -hmm. That's gotcha. a exercise. Mm -hmm. So you got to realize one of the things about this whole fitness lifestyle it is common sense. And it really is easy. Mm -hmm. We overthink it or we try to make it fast. Mm -hmm. We try to make it, you know, some, we get afraid of it. Mm -hmm. You know, I know I did. Mm -hmm. When people would say, it's I intimidating. It's very when you, when intimidating. You first start out, I admit it really is it intimidating. Is. And it's also intimidating sometimes when you have to go to the gym and you see all these mm -hmm. people and they're all fit. And, right. and here you come wobbling in there and, you that try, me, and, and that's your goal yeah. is to get like that. But then sometimes it can be discouraging right. because you seeing where you have to go instead of celebrating right, right now, now what you're doing now. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I think about the, the person that's morbidly obese. Maybe they can't walk as fast as the next person, right. but you gotta start somewhere. Just move. Yeah. Just move. And that's, that's exactly it. Yeah. It shouldn't be. And when people think of it, like you say, they get intimidated. Yes. They go, and, and it's not. It's really not. I find that when you know what you want to do in life, right? You don't look at to the left mm -hmm. and you don't look to the right. You stay right there and you stay focused on your goal. And if your goal is to be the best you yes. that you can be, you can't go wrong. What about your outlook on it? it um, as, as opposed to looking at it as a weight loss uh, regimen, look right. at it as a healthy way of living. That's right. A lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. <laughs> A lifestyle, it is. And, and I know because even in my own personal life, I'm not the size that I want to be. Right. I want to uh, get a little smaller, I got but you. thank you. <laughs> but you know what? You know what I realized right. that whatever the next person is doing, like I had a friend that uh, they like to eat certain types of food that I didn't like, Correct. and so therefore it was difficult when I tried to to implement what they had and they were successful at it. So. Great, say about great, that? great point. Mm -hmm. I am a nutritionist, and when people come to me for their diet plan, they get all, mm -hmm. it's funny because they ask me for a menu. And I say, well, what do you eat? Right. That's and they true. go, well, dude, don't you have a menu? Because mm -hmm. they're used to the other people telling them what to eat. What right. if I tell you to eat oatmeal? I don't like oatmeal. Mm -hmm. It's not going to work for you, right? Right. So when you come to me, mm -hmm. I have you write down I everything love you. that you write. I love it. I love it. 
you know, you're getting some good information. But this is true, yeah. though. It's yeah. true because you got it right on us. Yes. Just because I'm not going to write out a menu for you that day. I don't, I don't like yeah. that. Yeah. Right? So we go through a whole thing of what you eat on a normal. So I give you paper, you write down what you eat for like three days, right? Okay. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, give me the times, and then you turn it in, and then, then I take it and tweak it to what you're eating gotcha. and make your better choices. Okay. That way it's realistic. Mm -hmm. You're not freaking out. I've never had this before. <laughs> Why? I got you know what yeah. I'm saying? Or I don't like this. This don't, is something that I don't like. So it's all based on you. Mm -hmm. That's how I work. I take what you eat, mm -hmm. make better choices for you, and sip it in. And it's easy. It's not going to be. It's like some people really like ice cream, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that fudge. And I love that fudge. Mm -hmm. So get those mineral sandwiches. Mm -hmm. You can get like um, skinny cow sandwiches. Yes. That's what I do now. Yes. I tell people if they want the ice cream, get mm -hmm. a skinny cow. Right. You do whatever. Right. You know, mm -hmm. you, you can mix it up and life goes on. I love it. I love you, girl. You you have it down pat. And not only for nutrition, but also for exercise. That's right. Do the exercises that you enjoy doing. Absolutely. Like there are certain exercises I don't like to do, and I'm not going to do it. So it's not a lifestyle change right. for me. I want it to be, and, and it has to be some challenge in there. I understand that, but let it be something that I enjoy. I enjoy. Absolutely, yes. that yes. is number one. Yes, too. yes. you one. have to enjoy it. You look, I love it. I love it. You, it's so, it's you've made it so easy, so simple, yeah. non intimidating. Right. Um, um, but you do have to challenge yourself. You have, how Absolutely. important is that as well? Absolutely. And the, the, you have to challenge yourself. Push yourself. You have to stay consistent. That's mm -hmm. the thing. Because I know many people, rah, rah, rah. Yes. I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, do it. Three hours in the gym. I'm like, wow, don't do that. Mm -hmm. I'm going morning, I'm going morning, night. I'm going to do it. And then they don't even last a week. Mm -hmm. You know, so mm -hmm. stay, keep it simple. Yes. I love it. I love it. Now, you do have a website I where do. we can get in touch with you. What is yes. your website information? It's misfit1 mm -hmm. um, and it's dot .com. Okay. Misfit1 .com. And when you say one, that's the O N E yes. one. M S mm -hmm. F I T. O N E dot com. Yes, I certainly appreciate Thank you. you. I love your approach to it. You look fantastic, and uh, I hope that you have gleaned from this conversation and this uh, the, this version of the chat zone. The chat and um, I love it. I appreciate you. Thank Keep you. doing what you're doing, Thank you. girl. We're gonna have to get out there and hit the page. Let's so go. Right. Let's now, go. Now, one thing I do like, I do like racquetball. Oh, yeah. So I'm I mean. <laughs> But but I understand you lose like five five hundred pounds in the first. I, I'm not, no five hundred calories. I'm sorry. Don't five hundred calories. Don't no. Don't yeah. That's another myth. No. Go keep going. But, yeah. Well, see, <laughs> and, and see, that's another thing we didn't even cover is that the myths of <laughs> right. weight it's loss. So many myths. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. But the main thing is just making it comfortable for you. And you love it. Yes. Keep doing it. Yes. That's yes. the that's the main yes. thing. And we want you to love it and to keep doing it. If you hadn't started. Get started with it. What you're waiting on? You there's a skinny you and you there's a healthier you in right. you, and we want you to live a long life and a quality life. So on behalf of myself, Don Richie, the chat song, and my friend Elizabeth, listen, stay tuned. Next week we'll be here right here on the chat zone. So have a great day. Bye. Thank you for watching the chat zone. 